welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for clicking if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so I need to apologize to you guys for not putting up a video last week but I really had a lot going on I had my son having a concert and my nephew was graduating and I also had my niece having her party so I had a lot of things I was prepping so I wasn't able to put out any video last week but hopefully we'll get back to normal programming from today how have you guys been I've been great I've been really grateful so today I thought to tell you guys of my birth journey of my firstborn so my son was born on 5th November 2016 at 10 34 a.m so the journey began as on the 4th of november i thought i was having i thought i was having labor pains but they were really braxton hicks like braxton hicks but i had my partner take me down to the hospital so on getting there the worst thing that had to happen to a lady a pregnant woman is checking the dilation listen i don't know but the pain that comes with the checking of how far you've gone is really not worth it i feel like they should have a machine to monitor how far along labor pains are going because mm -mm. and then all the times they have to check you is just so unnecessary Anyway, so on the 4th, I went and got checked. The midwife checked me and was like, uh, you're only two centimeters dilated. You can go back home and come back tomorrow. F First of all, I thought, no, I don't want to go back home because one, you've said I'm um, like two centimeters dilated. But come to think of it, I think every single person on this planet, even if they haven't really dilated, will be told they are two centimeters dilated. I think that is like for encouraging sake. <laughs> because really and I could really feel like the contractions coming but <laughs> when the midwife checked me she was like no yes you are it kind of looks like you are dilated but you are not in labor so just go back home once they like the labor proper kicks in then you can come back to the hospital because <clears throat> really we didn't leave far from the hospital so I go back home I even sleep we went, had dinner, went back home, and I slept. But at 3 a.m. in the morning, on that night of the 4th, okay, basically it's, it's on the 5th now, at 3 a.m., I had a gush from, I just felt a lot of pain, and I had a lot of blood coming out. I remember waking up, and there was a gush of blood on the floor, and as I was going to the bathroom, there were drops of lumps of blood. Oh my God. I first thought it was true, but the blood that was there was too much. It was quite scary. Like after the whole procedure, everyone in my house was telling me they for real thought it was like the end of me, like I was dying. So after I went to the bathroom, we, we rushed to, to hospital, of course, to go check what's going on. The first thing I asked the midwife to check is, is my baby breathing is my baby okay so we went went through <clears throat> excuse me went went into the hospital through the emergency door because yeah of course it's an emergency how am i bleeding and i'm supposed to have this show show is like the little kind of you kind of bleed when you're in labor but it's not exactly a lot of blood but this what i was getting was i was soaking a pad in a sanitary towel in like say not even in five minutes it was already soaked so it was quite scary so i went in got checked and the worst thing had to be done the thing that i really hate the checking of dilation i can't remember the medical term there is a medical term for it but i can't remember right now but you guys get it when uh, a doctor or a midwife has to insert their fingers to check how far along you are on your labor so I get checked first of all the midwife tells me that I that is just show but I'm like no it can't be show because reading material told me that of course I am part of the Google parents I have to Google before I get into hospital 
whatever it's my generation so i got checked and she says that this looks like show but they've called in my doctor to come in so i'm supposed to wait and they i'm supposed to also check on the labor one thing right now i am in a lot of pain i'm in a lot of pain and i also for i didn't want to like go for cesarean section i really really wanted to try having vaginal bath but it didn't seem like that is what was going to happen but i really really wanted to try so i was sat there in labor because i wasn't really in labor it was all in my head i wasn't in labor yet but i had a condition that was called uh the placenta came presenting itself before the baby which would have been life-threatening for my son so when the doctor came in and checked me and yes said that i am dilated but after seeing the blood that was coming gushing out of me he was like no this is emergency cs we need to save your child and we also need to save you because there was a lot of blood coming out of my of my body which wasn't making sense but later on it's because my placenta presented itself before the baby because normally if you give birth to a child you give birth to the child first then the placenta is retrieved but i later found out that i had a condition called placenta previa so i had to be rushed into the emergency room for an emergency operation the emergency cs and i opted to have the injection down when like for me to be able to be talking to the surgeons as they perform the procedure and for me to be able to see what's happening of course i wasn't able to see there was a curtain put in the middle because i can't be seeing what they're actually doing but i could i talked to them the whole time and they'd just be stitching me and cutting me through as they are telling me lots of stories and asking me what I do as in it was a really fun experience if you ask me because first the after the injection there was no pain I was feeling I could just feel like someone is touching me like just gently touching me and so they continued with the procedure and at 10 34 a.m. there was believe me or not I totally believe that my son came into this world to be the light in my life because at 10 35 when he was taken out of my tummy light filled the room i swear i'm not just saying this because he's my son or it's i don't have i do have evidence but i don't think i can get the footage but anyway the li there was light filled in the whole theater even the the surgeon made he made a joke saying eh, <laughs> it was really funny but he once he was taking out my tummy and he was put in my arms and i was i was supposed to like check what gender he was and just look at my son that right there was the very first time i felt like oh my god i get to meet you for the very first time I was grateful for the whole journey, for the whole nine months of him growing inside of me. And now I eventually get to meet him, which was so beautiful. <laughs> and now my sister was telling me as I was in the operation room, my sister and my partner were in the lobby as I was in the theater. Because at that time in 2016, I don't know, in the hospital that we went to, they were not allowing your partner to be in the in the room with you so he was in the lobby waiting on the operation to be done and my sister was as well <laughs> so my partner told me that my sister was tossing <laughs> and it was like she she had already started telling she had already started telling him that oh my god she was so nice i will really miss her it's like i've already gone that is how scary it was for them me being in theater she was even singing i don't know if you guys know the song <laughs> that was really funny once they saw me being wheeled out of theater the joy that was in their faces was just priceless and that was the first day that i felt the joy that is 
being a mom. I've, I had been an auntie before and I thought the love that I felt for my nephews was like quite intense, quite immense. But after seeing my child, I was like, come here, I will give you the world, I'll protect you from it, I will, you know, and I'm so, so grateful for being a mom and I share this story with you for you guys to just get to know a little bit about me and my son's name is Amari, he was born on 16th, on 5th November 2016. I love, 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 love that boy. You guys have met him. If you haven't met him yet, you, sh you could check out one of my videos I did with him, Mom and Son Challenge. I will link it in the description bar. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, don't forget to throw kindness around like confetti. I love you. Okay, I keep forgetting this. I love you. This is the I love you sign, but sometimes I do this. This is wrong. This is right. I love you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.